Next up on the Mutual Audio Network, fiction from our future. The following audio drama is rated PG for parental guidance. There are those criminals that get out on bail and decide to skip bail and go on the run. For those individuals, there are people who hunt them down. They are called bounty hunters. And we are going with them to bring these criminals to justice. Sort of. And they are not always human. It's a price on your head, whether dead or alive. You can run, you can hide, you think that'll do you good? No, you duck. We'll be brought to the light, find you the darkest corner, the recess of the universe. We don't break, we don't play, it ain't a game. When we tear toes or bags, a bounty hunter on your head, we out of space, the outer space. We got room, most fear, so be afraid, so hope will no days. You ever hear the bounty hunters? It's after you, it's two ways to capture, no funny business, no laughing matter. Everyone gets their turn before they done. You just made the wrong one. Everyone gets their turn before they done. You just made the wrong one. Everyone gets their turn before they done. You just made the wrong one. Witness. Hundreds of demon-possessed humans stand at the ready around the SBHA, snarling, hungry for a bite. The SBHA is on lockdown, but what good would that do? I've been waiting for this my whole life. <laughs> waiting for death your whole life is one sad way to live. Oh yeah, I'll kill them all. <laughs> we need someone on lookout. Froggy? Lookout? They're surrounding us. Like looking out for the certain iceberg this Titanic about to hit. Good point. Everyone, arm yourselves and suit up. Copy that. Joe, lock down the demons. Don't want them riling up and breaking everything. Understood. Oh, we're all gonna die. <laughs> Scum, open thy ears and listen carefully to my words. The demonic empire believes it best it come in the flesh. We've been in the shadows far too long. And you, you finally gave us reason to step into the light. You have one day to release all demons in captivity. Beyond that, expect bloodshed. There is no escape. Attempt and expect the same result. These suits will keep you invisible to the demon's night vision. Make sure not to make noises. One day, huh? I'm too young to die. I have dreams. I have aspirations. They can't end so soon. Where's the spirit, Froggy? It up and wandered into a noose and hung itself. Jimmy, can you talk to them? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Reasoning with demons. <laughs> totally like they're open to negotiating the surrender to save themselves <laughs> from this group of mitzvahs before them. <laughs> Was I talking to you, Frogman? He's right, though. You can't take him, right? <laughs> the demonic empire? <laughs> Do you think I'm royalty? On the contrary. Do we even need the demons in our custody? No, really. But yes. What if we use them as a bargaining chip? How do you mean? If the demonic empire doesn't let us walk scot-free, we send these demons to Furgatory. Wait, you know about 
What do you think I do in my free time, huh? Why didn't I think of that? Round at the demons, I'll get my Bible out. Won't you burn? Not if I'm wearing gloves. Jimmy takes a few hours setting up the ritual to send the demon to a millennium of damnation. Water guns? Holy water guns. Oh, that sounds awesome! C c can I use one? Why not? What? Let's go! They're about to catch holy piss. <laughs> You're disgusting. S says the dirty-ass demon who bathes in his own period blood. Don't shoot everywhere, all right? There's a limited amount. It took many hard hours convincing the clergy to bless this much water. Got it. Got it. Totally. I swear, Froggy, if you... I'm, I'm serious. I, I, I won't. You better. Same for you, Gus. Got it. And Joe, you get this. What passages do I read? Oh, wait. Let's take notes. <laughs> I got it. Hold up the cross while you read them. Got it. Got it. Use these as the last line of defense. If they don't care about their buds being sent down there, we'll need to be ready to put up a fight. Yeah, won't let my fingers break like that again. No way in hell. Demons ain't got nothing on us after that day. Hell no, they don't. Now let's round up the demons. We still got 12 hours left. By the way, where's Shoot? Upstairs. Got his own equipment hidden above the tiles. <laughs> Out your eyes out, human. Not where you're going, you're not. Testing. Testing. Give a warning next time. Holy crap. Shut up, Gus. Demonic Empire, you listening? The traitor speaks. Jimmy goes up to the roof and looks out at the vast army. Hundreds upon hundreds, looking like ants, spreading out across the horizon. We have no intention of going out without a fight. Naive child. Do you play cards? Cards? Yeah, like poker. You waste words on talk of mere human entertainment. You forget who you share words with. You didn't answer my question. It shall remain unanswered. And poker... You must hide your cards and your emotions. Your ability to do this determines your opponent's reactions in place. Accidentally tell them through a facial reaction or a mannerism, and they won't move as expected. You rally an army to free a few of your own, a show of your cards. If they were lowly, you'd send out a lackey, not come in the flesh. But seems something is different. Something special about these demons we hold captive? No. Pulling these demons from their lifetime of torturing others must have been a task no one wishes to undertake. Yet you did! Your time limit just got shortened, child. You have one hour. Downstairs, the hunters are speechless, terrified at the imminent danger. Now even more so. As I said, your opponents determine their decisions based on the other player's mannerisms. What did you do? Turned your demons into a royal flush. You threatened their lives? Yes. I show mercy, and you spit in my face. It appears you are undeserving of such commodities. Tear them apart, limb from limb. Feast like you never have. Jimmy runs back down, joining the others. Send them down. There's no time. Jimmy! We'll hold him off. Get on with it, Mo. Mo begins quoting scriptures at the demons. Jimmy has chosen a secluded spot with noise dampening. The demons can't get close enough, or they'll hear him. The rest of the hunters hide behind turned-over desks and office walls. Other employees of the SBHA 
hide in their cubicles, unarmed. Don't come play with me, and we will kill you. <laughs> Joe gets to her feet, wielding the cross and the Bible. She switches on the flashlight and sees a tall, possessed person whose flesh is torn by the size of the demon possessing it, like a shirt worn by the Hulk. Behind you. I just want to play a game with you. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Stay with me. Behind you. Gus gets up and fires his holy water gun at the opposing demon. Joe approaches the demon over the employee, continuing to speak. The demon drops to its knees, sobbing sinisterly. Go to hell. Froggy gets up and joins Gus in firing at the demon, impersonating a little girl. Taste my rat, bitch. Take that! <laughs> Joe, Gus, and Froggy point their flashlights around the room. They see employees still hiding at their desks. There's some blood on the floor near one of the cubicles. Aren't the walls painted white? Why is it all black? You aren't looking at walls. Those are demons. Find them. We'll take care of the vermin. Who can help us? I know just the supernatural being. Froggy, Jimmy, get in line. We'll move for Lorraine. Ah, some action! Froggy and Jimmy check flanks, and Gus sprays everything in front of him. He thought it was just a shadow, but everything in front of him was some demonic presence. But he forgets the limit on his gun. <laughs> The demons are close enough to Joe, scratching her legs, but not close enough to get at her arteries. Froggy aims over her shoulder and pushes them back, saving her some pain. Watch the flanks. I know. I know. Ah, fucking hell. Your heroism betrays you, humorous one. Suck my dick. Jimmy delivers a swift kick to the group of demons on Jimmy's side, pushing them back a meter or so. We're here. Gus rushes towards the cell and smashes his hand through the emergency glass and opens the cell. What was that for? Help us. Oh, why didn't you say so? Lorraine zooms past overhead and crashes into the demons, her face growing monstrous as she tears through the dozens of them in a few seconds flat. The hunters standing right behind her, aiding her with their weapons. Jimmy leaps forward, leaving a huge crack in the ground, and crashes into the group, throwing inhumanly fast and powerful blows. Gathering forces to make death swifter. The Demonic Empire's member steps forward through the army and snatches Lorraine by the neck. Stupidity of amounts I cannot fathom. Yes! Right behind you, Lorraine. The demon holds her from the pelvis and the torso, tearing her spirit. <laughs> Oh, 
Jimmy tries sweep kicking the demon. The demon lets go of Lorraine and stops the kick from landing, and with a quick snap of his wrist, he bends Jimmy's knee the wrong way. Jimmy falls over. Fuck! Your greatest warrior, a slave to me. Jimmy's demonic spirit painfully resets the leg. Jimmy, going back on the attack, he swatted away, slammed into a wall. The demon continues to tear Lorraine. Foolish acts of bravery lead to devastating losses. Please stop. Please. Exorcism must take. Oh, miss, admitted to the spiritual says, oh, miss, said to Kna, but did to kiss us, oh, miss, and such to kiss infinitely. Spells only effective against weaklings. Stop! Please! Shoot first, drops from the ceiling, and charges up his rifle and fires, blasting a hole through the demon's chest. He falls forward, Lorraine swimming away. Oh shit, it feels good to be back. Thank you. Thank you. You're next. She's with us. Never mind. You actually look kind of cute. Why, thank you. What was it you said about poker? Don't show your cards. I haven't. More demons from the demonic empire roar outside. Deafening. Guttural. Where do you keep our kind? Shoot first, fires another shot at the demon, aiming for the head. The demon flops over, head pulverized. A red gaseous substance shoots out and enters another body. The flesh rips, not able to handle the demon's size. I do not perish so easy. You fight warriors who will shake the heavens with their legends. Shit, that sound kind of epic if I do say so myself. <laughs> we don't die that easy. <laughs> Bring it on. Shoot first, fires again, hitting the demon square in the chest. Let's help the workers. They group up. Lorraine hovering above while holding her sort of torn body together and move for the bullpen where the demons are playing a sinister game of hide and seek. Can you find me? I'm here. Smell that? Not yet. <coughs> I know this smell. They found them out, huh? Gus throws up. What? Using their flashlight, they see all the workers are already torn apart. Blood redecorating what the architect of this building had in mind. Limbs lay torn on desks, exploded flesh sticking to the ceiling like goopy substances from a cave. Where is my guy? We mean back up, Mo. The group moves from Mo and the Devil's Trap. The demons inches from slashing them up. They enter the room. Jimmy, take in the hits, as they shut the door against the hordes. We'll, we'll shake the heavens, all right? No, we don't. There's too many. He's almost done. We won't have enough time. I'll make the goddamn time. When they break through, they'll have hell to pay. Walls are punched through. Joe points her flashlight at them. There's mobs outside tearing at the walls. One gets through. Joe presses the cross against its forehead, making it run. Another one gets through. Froggy sprays his gun only to find out... Oh, no, it's empty. Jimmy kicks the demon at the wall, breaking the wall further. Using a special knife, he leaps and stabs the demon, killing it. Four more demons pour in. Lorraine goes to town on two of them, shoot first, firing at the other two in quick succession. The walls crumble further. Ten more demons pour in, 
Shoot first. Lorraine, Jimmy, and Joe use all they can to take them out. Bodies pile up on the floor. The walls collapse. Thirty demons jump in. Shit. It was nice knowing y'all. I thought we were going to shake the heavens. Frog, I'm sorry to say we won't. So much for hope. Joe, you want to get out of here? No. Can't blame a man for shooting the shot. In his last moments. I surely can. The demons charge forward, claws extending. Then, someone yells. May the power of Christ compel you. A shockwave blasts through the room, affecting the demons. The bodies flop. Demons pushed from possession. Deathlock? At your service. Shockwaves boom across the landscape. The sun shines bright, unobscured by darkness. Feel God's wrath, you sons of bitches. You can't defeat me. But I can send you to hell. Oh, shit. Deathlock runs at the demon with a rifle shaped into a cross and plunges it into the demon's head. Back to hell, you piece of shit. Deathlock fires the shot, and the demon burrows into the ground, going straight back to hell. Oh, holy shit! Does someone have a new magazine of holy water? Lorraine, Jimmy, and Joe run from the broken room into the sunlight, and aid Deathlock and the hunters. Mo, you can stop! We need them! Got it! Retreat! Retreat! Seriously? I missed out on all the fun. Where did they even come from? What the hell was that? We need to find out what's behind this. Something big is coming. I know it. It's right under our noses. It's all part of something. I have the same feeling. If we're nearly destroyed now, what's it going to be like against the rest of them? There are millions of demons. We just saw hundreds. It'll be a glorious death. You good? I'm more alive than I've ever been. The team has been saved, short of destruction. But what awaits their lives with postponed death? What plan is part of it? Sizzcast presents Bounty Hunters, created, produced, and directed by Tom Young, written by Joe Spirit and Tom Young, starring the voice talents of Scott Kelly as Gus Roscoe, Victoria K. Mayer as Joe Darcy, Otis Brogdon Jr. as Shoot First, Peter Zhang as Jimmy Travis Tyler, Matt Coles as Mo, Ben Eckert as Froggy, Sean Joseph as Unknown, Aiden Morgan as Deadlock, Julie Hoverson as Lorraine Jensen, Connor Stanton as Wally Jensen, Demon, and Drew Kak Ugarek. Our audio editor was Clea Cullen. And I'm Frank Guglielmelli, the narrator for Bounty Hunter, a Sizzcast production. Do not adjust your sets. You're tuned to Wednesday Wonders on the Mutual Audio Network. Tomorrow on Mutual is Thursday Thrillers, our roundup of action, adventure, mystery, crime drama, and thrillers, of course. Subscribe to the full Mutual Audio Network feed for every day of diverse audio tales. Or... 
Find the Thursday Thrillers feed in your favorite podcast players. The Mutual Audio Network. Listening and imagining together. Together.